Hello, my name is Adrian Sedlow and today we are going to talk about a very basic thing, how to create a company in Luxembourg. And for this we are going to take you through seven steps that we are going to explain to you in detail. So just to specify here, we are talking about ordinary Luxembourg companies and not uh, regulated funds or reserved alternative investment funds uh, for which a specific regime uh, might apply. So this video relates more uh, to holding companies, SPVs and ordinary commercial companies. So the first step is to choose the right form of company. So what questions must be answered when you choose the right form of company? The first question is, which tax regime do I want to apply to my company? The second question would be, do I wish to limit my liability or not? Because in some companies you can limit your liability, in other companies you can't do it. And generally, uh, the most used forms of companies are the private limited liability companies, or the SAL. It would be the uh, Société Anonyme, which is an equivalent of a PLC. And it would be partnerships like the Special Limited Partnership, or the Ordinary Limited Partnership, which is the SCSP and the SCS. And these two uh, last forms would typically be used more for funds, for unregulated funds especially. The second step is choose your company's name, choose the denomination. You should be very careful not to have a name that could cause confusion with other names that already exist. And for this uh, you should ask for a certificate of availability of a name that you can uh, ask for uh, on the website of the Register of Commerce and Companies in Luxembourg. The third step will be to open a bank account in Luxembourg. So opening a bank account in Luxembourg and in Europe generally has become quite difficult in the last years. So this is mainly due to an increase of costs as regards KYC and AML work uh, that needs to be performed by all these banks in Luxembourg and in Europe. And especially for smaller projects, it's quite difficult now to open bank accounts uh, in Luxembourg. But several banks still remain proactive and would be uh, prepared to open such a bank account. And another solution uh, might be to go to an online bank where we can also help. So once the bank account is open, you, you can wire uh, the share capital uh, on the bank account and typically the bank would issue what we call in Luxembourg a blocking certificate, a certificat de blocage. This blocking certificate will show the notary, if you go to a notary uh, to incorporate the company, that the share capital uh, has been deposited uh, on this bank account and that it exists. Step four is the drafting of the articles of incorporation. So we have seen as lawyers so many articles of incorporation which have been very badly drafted and we can only advise you to go to a lawyer and to have your articles of incorporation properly drafted just to avoid issues at a later stage. So for instance, if you would like to carry out an activity that is not caught by uh, the corporate object clause, you cannot exercise the activity. Another example, if you would like to hold a board meeting and the way the board meeting has been held is not in accordance with what uh, has been stated in the Articles of Incorporation, such board meetings might be viewed as not having been validly held. So it's of utmost importance that uh, all this is very well drafted in the Articles of Incorporation and of course our firm uh, could help you to draft this in the most flexible and in the best way. Step five is choose the managers. So this is a very important point because all decisions uh, of the Luxembourg company that you're going to create need to be taken in Luxembourg. And this is not only a tax aspect because foreign tax administration could challenge the Luxembourg nature of the company by saying that the decisions uh, of the management have been taken in another country, it's also a question of Luxembourg corporate law. Given especially the fact that a Luxembourg company is viewed from a Luxembourg standpoint 
as a company that has its central administration, so its place of effective management in Luxembourg. So the ideal situation would be to have the majority of the managers of this company in Luxembourg and that all decisions are taken in Luxembourg. Step six, you need to incorporate the company. There we have a difference between companies for which a notary is necessary, like a SARL or an SA or an SCA. For these companies, the law clearly states that you need a notary. For other type of companies, like um, partnerships, like an SCSP or an SCS, the notary will not be necessary and you can do this through private deed. Step seven would be for commercial companies to ask for a business license. So this would not be necessary for SPVs in principle or for unregulated funds, but if you exercise a commercial activity, you will need to ask for a business license with the Ministry of Economy. The need to have a business license will therefore very much depend on the activity that you intend to carry out. And for this, a legal counsel uh, should review this just to be sure that you don't need the business license because if you needed one and you don't have one, that would be criminally sanctioned in Luxembourg. So it's very important. So this is it. I hope this video was useful to you. So if you have any questions, you can send these on the email address that appears below and I hope that uh, you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.